Hello, my name is Eric Morgan, and this is Jay Schmidt, and today we're going to be talking about collecting ECG, or EKG, data. ECG stands for electrocardiogram, and is used in heart rate variability as well as cardiac impedance research to calculate statistics such as heart rate, respiratory sinus arrhythmia, and stroke volume. First, let's take inventory of the necessary supplies for collecting ECG. To collect ECG, we need three ECG medical sensors or electrodes with lead wires attached, alcohol prep pads, and micropore tape. We are going to use three leads to form a triangle called the lead two configuration. We use this configuration to ensure a highly pronounced R peak, which is crucial for data analysis. I'm going to start by asking our subject to move his shirt collar to the right side, exposing the right clavicle. While he does that, I'm going to remove an alcohol prep pad from its package. Using my middle and index fingers, I'm going to locate the right clavicle and clean the site using the alcohol prep pad. Next, I'm going to take an electrode with the lead wire already attached and place it firmly on the site I've just cleaned. Finally, I'm going to take a piece of micropore tape and create a service loop next to the sensor. We can see that when I tug on this lead wire, the tension is applied to the service loop as opposed to the electrode, allowing it to maintain connectivity with the skin. So this is done to minimize movement noise caused by tugging on the electrode wire. Finally, I'm going to ask my subject to release his collar and drop the lead wire down his shirt because it's generally more comfortable for the subject to have the lead wires run through the shirt as opposed to up and out of the collar. I'm now going to repeat this process for the second ECG lead, which is placed across the body on the left bottom rib. I'll ask the subject to lift their shirt above their stomach. This time, I'm going to use my fingers to locate the bottom rib and clean the site with the alcohol prep pad. Once again, I'm going to take an electrode off the strip, again with a brown lead wire attached, and place it on the site which I've just cleaned. And finally, like before, I'm going to create a tension loop using micropore tape. Before the subject puts their shirt down, there is one last electrode to place. The ground electrode goes again on the bottom rib, but on the subject's right side. Again, I'm going to use my fingers to locate the bottom rib, clean the site, and take another electrode off the strip, but this time with the black lead wire attached, and place it on the site which I've cleaned. Finally, once again, I'm going to make a service loop away from the sensor. Once the electrodes have been placed, the leads can be plugged into the data acquisition device, such as the Mywar Mobile. You can see the lead colors I chose correspond with the channel that I'm using. It's important to note that the negative ECG electrode is on the collarbone, while the positive is on the lower left rib. Plugging these in backwards will lead to an inverted signal, which, while can be easily dealt with in the analysis applications, is not ideal. One easy way to tell which lead is which is by looking at the lengths of the lead wires as they come out of the subject's shirt. The shortest one will be the negative ECG lead. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube.